All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the Trade Tips channel. And today we are in Walmart right now. We are currently going to show you a cheap way to make a live well. Well, not a live well, just a way to keep your bait alive. So right, here we go. First, we're going to start off with this little minter bucket. It is a total of 644. Camera's focusing like crap. And we're just going to buy one of these baby bubblers right here for 496. There we go. Okay guys, so the total on that, making you a live well is $15. I bought the bubbler, the little minter bucket, and then I bought a little thing of Velcro so I could Velcro the bubbler onto the minter bucket. So yeah, when I get back to the house, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set this up. And for $15, you can't beat a good live well to keep your minters alive. So I'm gonna be making a video of fishing with live bait, and I don't want the bait to die on the way to the pond. So I'm just gonna buy this little setup right here, a little minter bucket with aerator, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, so I'll see you at the I'll see you at the house. Guys, also let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a nice creek fishing video. There are some crazy looking fish in that creek right there. Uh, I don't know why, but they're like red-eyed bluegill. I don't know. I'll let you see if you want to see a creek fishing video. Comment down below if you want to see one. All right, guys. So right now, I'm going to show you how to set this up. So first, you got to have two AA batteries to turn the bubbler on. Uh, I don't know which way they go in here, but... Out of it. All right, let's see if she works. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Put them in the right way. So now, we're just gonna get this Velcro right here that I bought so we can put it on the side of the minter bucket. Bought some Velcro. There is this little clip on the side if you just want to clip it. But we're just going to, we're going to put that up like that. We're going to put this back side of this, the sticky stuff on the back of the bubbler. Like that. And then you're going to get your minter bucket and put it wherever you want to. Probably just going to put it right here on the side somewhere. Probably just right here on the front. Take a sticker off. I got sticker off. We don't need a sticker. We ain't trying to support you, bro. And we're just gonna get this. We're gonna put it right here on the side of the meter bucket right there. And you're gonna get your bubbler. You're gonna slap it on right here. That way it'll hold on good. Push it up real hard. And then all you wanna do is run your bubbler tube inside there. I mean you can you can shorten this tube down if you want to. Don't shorten it down too much, that way it don't. That way it will still reach into the bucket. So we're gonna run it like that. Then we're gonna run it down into the minter bucket. The door will kinda not close. Well, the door will close. Turn the bubbler on. There you go, good as new. Then you can lock it. That way the minters can't jump out. And there you go, you got your $15 live well for your minters. Alright guys, so I have set it up. I put some water inside and as you can see the bubbler is working, doing its job. As you can see the bubble's down there. My camera's not very focusing very good. There you go. As you can see down there, the bubbler is doing its job right there. So if you want to keep your minters alive for the next day or something, uh, you can you can just buy this little setup right here. As you've seen, it was like $15 for everything, the Velcro, the bucket, and the bubbler all together is $15. So yeah, if you need a nice $15 Live well set up for your minters if you want to keep them for the next day, use them for catfishing or whatever. I mean, you can't hold a lot in there, but you can hold a lot. You can hold a lot of little minters. So yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like. And uh, about the creek fishing, drop down there if you want to see a nice little creek fishing video. Also, um, yeah, if you ain't already, go down there and hit the big subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Not yet. Hey, the fan mail. Link, uh, fan mail address is down in the description if you have any fan mail to send. Go down there and follow my Instagram for updates when new videos come out. Videos usually come out every day or every other day at 12 o'clock p.m. So yeah, there you go. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.